Hey everyone, uh, I am Sadie and I am going to show you something really cool today. Um, I am coming to you live from bed. I'm still on bed rest, but guess what? Um, AI isn't waiting for anyone at all. So I just wanna show you real quick, um, ARPA AI. Now this is a very intro top level video, um, but I'm gonna do a more detailed video later on down the line. I just wanna show you a few things that you can do with this awesome free Google Chrome extension. So you're gonna have to go to Google Chrome, install harpa.ai and that kind of thing. But then uh, I want you to go over to Google and let's just pretend we're making a blog about how to journal. How about that? How to journal. Okay, now you'll see over here in the little corner, corner right here, Harpa pops up. Harpa just took, I put how to journal over here, right? Harpa just put it in here and answered the question. It answered it for me. Uh, yes, this is going to change the way search works. Yes, search traffic could bottom out at some point, but it will build back up. Um, this is why it's more important now uh, than ever to have a group somewhere where you can join with your community, an email list, a Facebook group, a blog, you know, those kinds of things where they want to go visit, not just SEO, 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 right? But anyway, I digress. Journaling is a practice that involves writing down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences on a regular basis, blah, 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 blah. But look, it gives you tips here. Write every day, explore different techniques. So I could take this and put it in a Google Doc, for example, to do some uh, research. Now, look at this. If you put a little slash and put SEO, up here you can see all the options, but I'm just going to show you a few of the SEO things. So you can create a strategy. So look at this, keyword strategy generator. It asks for a keyword. How about how to journal? Gives you a meta title, a meta description, a page excerpt, FAQs to ask. This is powered by ChatGPT, so you can actually pop back in and be like, hey, can you please answer those FAQs? And then you put those FAQs and their answers in your blog post. Related queries. These could be a cluster, so journaling for self-growth, journaling examples and prompts. So all of these can help you make a cluster of content around the topic, how to journal. Uh, we also have long tail keywords, how to journal for self-discovery, creative journaling ideas for beginners, right? So this is more content. And then let's make this bigger. Uh, here's a bunch of keywords. It tells you the type of keyword, the intent. Um, it's showing how many times it's used, I think, on this page. I'm pretty sure that's what this is all about. But look at all these keywords. Holy cow, right? But there's more. There's more. Okay. Um, you can create a monthly content calendar. So enter the primary keywords, how to journal, how about how to journal, um, how about creative journaling ideas, creative journaling ideas. Let's see what it comes up with. So now it's creating a four week, looks like content calendar. Uh, unleash your creativity with these 10 inspiring journal ideas. Oh my gosh. So, so many. Okay. Again, slash SEO. That's where I'm going to get all of the things. Okay. Um, so we got the content calendar. Let's look at topical authority. What is your main article about? How to journal. Now, Harpa is giving us blog post titles descriptions, keywords, and then again, the search intent, pretty much everything I do is informational. I don't do a lot of buyer intent stuff. Uh, so that's another option. You guys, this is insane. Keyword cluster. Uh, it says paste a list of keywords. So let's go back up here. Let's see, where were we? Gave us some ideas right here. Um, well, that's not going to work. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay, it did work. I just pasted from what it gave me earlier. But look at this. Overview of cluster topics found. Journaling techniques and tips. Benefits and importance of journaling. Journaling for mental health. Journaling prompts and examples. Holy cow. So it gives you a cluster, journaling techniques and tips. And then it gives you 
all the keywords. These can each be its own post, you know, 37 journaling tips to get you started, that kind of thing, right? Um, oh my gosh, look at all these. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some more stuff. Let me go to, how about helpful journaling tips for beginners? We're gonna go to this page. Now say that I'm wanting, this is 2022, so it's already outdated. So I know I can beat these guys, right? Even with a new blog, I could probably beat these guys, but pull harp up again. And then again, type in slash SEO. And then right here, it says SEO audit. So you searched your exact search term, how to journal. And now a post on the front page, we're gonna dig in and take it apart. Now it says enter your SEO article content or leave blank to parse from page, press enter. Now, when you're checking your own articles and it says page quality rating low, don't freak out. Some of this stuff is, I mean, it's a robot, it's an algorithm, so don't freak out, okay? There's some of this stuff that AI is still learning. Um, there's, there's a lot of different interpretations. So just use this as a tool to be like, hmm, how can I do better than they did? So this is showing um, that they did not establish their expertise, experience, authority. There's no clear indication of the author's qualifications, credentials, or experience. So you don't have to be a journaling expert, but you need to be like, hey, this is my third year journaling. This is what I've learned. Or, you know, you've got to now show and tell what you know instead of just leaving it up to be assumed. I've been blogging for 15 years. So I'm like, well, duh, people know I'm a blogging expert but they don't. So when I'm writing an article teaching you how to blog, I need to be like, this is my experience. Content relevancy and accuracy, intent and expectations. Uh, this right here is good. Missing content elements and suggestions for improvement. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. That is one of the most powerful things that I've seen with Harpa is just all of the keyword stuff and the SEO audit is really nice. Uh, this is also a service you could offer to people if you know a little something about SEO, right? You come in, you do the SEO audit on any page on their blog, and you actually create a report telling them what to fix so they can rank higher. Or again, service idea, you can fix those things for them. I will update 10 of your posts that are on page two or three. And that is a really good service idea to offer if you need active income. All right, we already did the keyword cluster. You can do a six month SEO plan, but I wasn't super impressed. Landing page structure. This is gonna tell you uh, how to do attention grabbing headlines about the given topic. Content idea generator. Click on that one and put how to journal. The ultimate guide to starting a journal, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to choose the right journal, or no, a step-by-step -step tutorial on journaling techniques, beginner's guide, how to choose the right journal, guide to journaling prompts for self-reflection. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is ridiculous. Look at this. You've got 25 blog post ideas right now in a second. If you are not using Harpa AI right now, what are you doing with your life? You're wasting time. You're wasting money. You're missing out. Uh, I'm going to show you just a few more and then I'm going to go because this is just too cool and you just need to go use it. You don't need to be watching me for 30 minutes. You need to go and use it. Um, content idea generator, promotional email writer, meta description from text, um, all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is a good one. Silo website structure. structure. Blech. Okay, so we're just going to enter to parse from the page. So this is the silo structure that this page either is using or they're recommending using. I'm not sure, I don't know anything about this blog, so. Um, it says bullet journal, what is your bullet journal style, personal development, how to journal in 2022. Yeah, that needs to be updated. Um, why should I keep a journal? All of these are really good blog topic ideas. Uh, for your blog posts, if you're doing this type of topic, okay? Easy tips for keeping a journal regularly. Like, oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. 
And then there's one more that I wanted to show you. Let's see, content analyzer. So we're gonna, again, enter, and you can be doing this on your page. I, again, I just popped in an idea, went to Google. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what you're going to see whenever you are using ARPA. Um, it says, um, let's see, let's try this again. It didn't work, but I've used this and I really liked it. So I don't want to skip it. Copy and paste or yeah, user search query, search intent or keywords, how to journal. That's what I was missing, my bad. All right, so this is a content analyzer. This is another way to audit your content. If this was my blog and I'm wanting to rank for how to journal, this shows on a scale of zero to 10, the relevancy of the content would be around a seven. That's really good. Uh, it says to improve the relevance, you can consider the following suggestions. And it says to include some subheadings that align with the search queries. It gives us ideas. Um, to demonstrate expertise and improve authoritativeness around the topic gives you some ideas. So you guys, this tool, Harpa AI, is absolutely ridiculous. It's powered by ChatGPT, but has access to the internet. So it's like ChatGPT on steroids. You guys know how much I love ChatGPT. But Harpa is free. Go download the Google Chrome extension, check it out, and then in the comments below, type which... Uh, template you liked the best. I don't know what they're really called. Templates, maybe? Um, whatever these things are called <laughs> up here. Um, the templates, the commands, I guess they're called commands. Tell me which one you liked the best after you try some of them. They've got a domain name generator, um, sales pitch writer. You can go and take a YouTube video and actually get a, I'm going to show you one more thing. I know I lied. Um, I'm, you could actually get a Summary. So, all right, let's see how to do keyword research with chat GPT. Let's just click on that this. and not listen to that. Um, pull Harpa up and then we're going to YouTube, YouTube video summary. So press enter. Parsing video from the page. Long videos may take a few seconds. So it's going to give us, I guess I should have picked a short video, huh? But it's going to give us a YouTube video summary. So instead of spending 45 minutes, for example, watching a video, you can get some highlights. And then if something seems really interesting, you can go in and actually watch the video. Um, because this video seems to be kind of long, it's not going to do it right now. And I'm not going to keep you on here any longer. I want you to go try this on your own. Try Harpa AI on your own and then let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. What did you try? What type of results did you get? What are you super excited about? Tell us all the things and hopefully I'll see you in our group. I'll link that below if you're not in the Women of AI yet. You are missing out. I hope to see you there and I'm so excited about Harpa. Please let me live vicariously through you. Do lots of work while I'm on bed rest and show me what you have created. Thank you guys. We will see you very soon. Sharon and I are going to do another video next week and I will have a full breakdown of Harpa very soon. Thanks for watching.